Okay. The next point I wish to discuss is uh, the confidence interval. Okay. Now let's look at uh, uh, let's look at this particular formula. I raise this. Let's look at this particular formula and let's try and transfer things from here to uh, somewhere else. Okay. So uh, what is this? This is S X bar. Okay. Now uh, this is plus minus T plus minus at alpha by two. Right. This is T plus minus at alpha by two. Okay. So this is what I have. Now. Uh, this, see uh, what will happen if I do something like this, plus minus p at alpha by 2 multiplied by sx bar, right, is equal to x bar minus mu. If I uh, reverse the sides and if I do some smart manipulation, this I can write as uh, plus minus P alpha by 2 into Sx bar plus x bar is equal to mu, right, is equal to mu, right. This is plus minus, so uh, these, this would not change signs, okay, only this would change signs. And so, which is actually meaning that uh, if I want to know the confidence interval of the mu, one of the this this would take either one positive value or other negative value, right? So I either add this particular thing into x bar or I subtract this from x bar. One value would be uh, at at alpha at alpha by two. I get the confidence interval for this particular kind of mean. This is how I would perhaps compute the confidence interval. Most popularly, you write this as confidence interval confidence interval at say 0.95 confidence interval for the T is X bar plus minus P alpha by 2 into Sx bar, right, right, and I can, if I, if I want to elaborate it further, I can write it plus minus P alpha by 2 into S upon square root N, right. So this is how I get confidence interval at 0 0.0. 9, 5. So, uh, for our example, what was the T value that we got some time back? Uh, plus or minus 3.79. 3.79 into what was the standard error of the mean? Uh, it was uh, 0 0.7906. Yes. 0 0.7906. So, and the x bar is 47. So, 47 plus minus, if we do solve this, we get the lower and upper values for the x bar, right? So, that, that's, what, uh, that's what gives us the confidence interval, right? So, this is about t test, single sample t test with uh, unknown variances.